and what are the steps which are involved in the reprocessing reprocessing can be done by manual or the automated one in this video we will see regarding the automated one this machine is the Renatron machine which is used to for the reprocessing of the dialyzer the steps prior to connecting the dialyzer to this machine is after the termination of the dialysis ideally the dialyzer should be flushed with like saline for minimum 20 to 30 minutes thereby removing whatever the blood which is remaining in the dialyzer after the termination is done after removing the tubing the dialyzer have to brought to the uh, reprocessing area that should be a separate reprocessing area and the dialysis unit where initial flushing of the dialyzer should be done in the blood compartment we will see in this video how it is being done and this is the part of the machine here already the labeling is done here there are two parameters which is shown one is regarding the on switch off switch and the hole to sweat and the, this is another panel for showing the diagnostic actually there are total 57 steps which are involved in the process of uh, cleaning testing and disinfecting these steps can vary from machine to machine in this Renatron machine which is kept in our unit is having 57 steps so once this 57 is blinking that means the process is complete this is regarding the fiber bundle volume what is the percentage what is this fiber bundle volume it is nothing but the volume like this is the tot and this is the dialyzer having the blood compartment which is inside the micro capillaries the volume of the micro capillaries the amount of blood which can where the effective dialysis can occur is grossly represented by this fiber bundle volume usually it have to be more than 80 percentage because if it is less than 80 percentage the chances of adequate adequate dialysis is getting down and when the fiber bundle volume comes down usually whenever there is a formation of clot the fiber bundle volume comes down we will see the parts of the machine this is the cross machine it have to be connected to a disinfectant the scan is the disinfectant which contains renaline solution renaline contain renaline is a trade name which contains hydrogen peroxide plus parasitic acid this is connected to the machine from the machine it will be sucked in and it will be delivered to the dialyzer which act as a disinfectant there are two machine in our unit we will see how the reprocessing is being done here after the termination of the dialysis rinsing has been done the dialyzer have been taken to the reprocessing area this this water is also a RO water supply not the usual tap water a tap water the RO water which is cleaned through the multiple process that water have to be used here dialysis over now we are going to flush it with this one with the water through the blood compartments from here so whatever the clots remaining will be dislodged and get up like come out of this dialyzer so after the initial dialyzer rinsing after the initial rinsing it will be connected to the dialyzer like this already the markings are given where to connect which tube accordingly it have to be connected the lower part is connected to the that is the blood port these are all the two dialysate port already the diagram is there just we have to keep the dialyzer over there and we have to connect the tubings now it is connected once it is connected the readings which is being shown here are for the previous dialyzer now we have to switch it off again switch on hold this is the hold button to set to set the limit for rejection for example ideally as per the guidelines the fiber bundle volume have to be more than 80 percentage for this dialyzer the fiber bundle volume or the priming volume is 90 ml so in turn the 80 percentage is it have to be more than 72 ml so we can set it this premium these machines are set at the value of 
more than 72 ml or this setting can be changed if the value comes below this this dialyzer have to be discarded this can't be used for further dialysis so after this setting the fiber bundle volume it is all ideally for a machine it is already set for the unit and then the second panel it is showing zero because the process is yet to start as i showed in the beginning of the video which is showing 57 at the completion 57 steps will be complete once we start this the process will be going on like there the dialyzer the processing started this is the panel i'm just showing to whatever the uh, process involved as we see here First is the clean followed by test disinfect and the alarm for process complete will occur during this step the machine checks for presence of any micro capillary leak how the pressure is being maintained or not is there any multiple clots and various pressure and leakage sensors have been will be done once the testing is done this renalin can is kept over here from renalin will be sucked in and these tubings will be filled once the tubings will be filled this will be showing like this 57 and it will be showing the final fiber bundle volume so for this dialyzer it is 87 that means it can be reused ideally it can be re reused can be done up to four times suppose if the fiber bundle volume is coming less than 80 for our dialyzer if it is 72 ml or less we usually discard the dialyzer and after the process is complete we have to put the cap both in the dialyzer port and the blood port it have to be stored in a separate containers how long it can be stored it can be stored up to 14 to 21 days because the tf of this renalin solution is up to that after that this dialysis have to be ideally discarded this disinfection uh, disinfectant will be both filled in both the blood compartment and the dialysate compartment once we put the cap we can see this fluid will be 